Hello everyone, I'm Andy Davo and I thought I'd bring you some Blood Bowl 3 actual gameplay uh, today. Uh, we talked about it in the preview video. Now let's dive straight in uh, and see what the game actually looks like um, inside the game. So uh, I'm going to dive in, I'm going to look straight at the AI. All I've done is I've clicked play, we're going to play against the AI. Um, and immediately you're now presented with either choosing your teams uh, or a set of custom teams. Uh, on this example, uh, we'll take um, my one. I'm going to take an Imperial Mobility. And we'll take a default team um, and we'll pick some Pro Elves. So uh, 1600 TV Pro Elves versus um, a custom deliberately low um, TV team um, of mine. So we'll start the match. Um, while we're starting the match, uh, it doesn't take very long to load in. Um, but um, now I'm going to show you the intro. Uh, I think the intro looks quite nice. Um, you can see the stadium and all its, uh, its grandeur. You've got the cable vision at the top. Um, you've got a random leaf just in case you were uh, plant curious. Um, uh, some X, uh, X players. Um, now I'm going to just mash the escape key for a second. Um, and all you'll see is it pops up with the, um, this menu here. So this is not skippable. So if I wanted to get past it, I couldn't. Um, what we've got here is this me. That's, my, that's, that's a representation of yourself as a coach. And that's the opponent coach. Um, that is relevant because one of the rules uh, is where you can now, when you foul someone, you can argue the call. And you can try and actually physically argue the call to try and get your player not sent off. Um, if you get sent off, you get sent off as well. Um, uh, so, right, we've got a bit of uh, pouring rain weather. And now the inducement screen is actually inside the game rather than before the game. Uh, and it's laid out on three different tabs here. Um, so you've got uh, basic inducements you can take. Uh, you can quickly read through those and see what they do. Um, I think the one that, um, no, in fact, everyone who's familiar with Blue Bowl 2 will, will recognize all of these. Um, this is probably the more exciting of the ones. So we've got um, the star players. So we've got Griff Oldwald, Carla Von Kiel, uh, which is um, a replacement for Zara the Slayer. Um, if you look at the stat line, movement six, strength four, agility three, and armor eight effectively um it's the same player um uh, and then we've got morgan thorpe <clears throat> now if i select morgan thorpe for a second um shame i can't actually mouse over the skills so unless you know what they are um you can't yeah select morg but we are going to take morg i think if i can afford to buy him uh, and he's also a lot cheaper than in blue ball 2 um so in blue ball 3 he's only 340k rather than 430k so is we'll take that. Uh, Moles under the pitch. Until the end of the half, all rushes tests are for a penalty of minus one, or if both gamers roll the result of minus two. Wow. Being alive is a roll of the dice. You never know so one of your players, without a lonely trait of overflow drive, gains the pro skill for this match. Um, now, first thing you probably see on the screen here, apart from my face, of course, um, is there's an awful lot going on, isn't there? Um, and if you, yeah, this is the mouse wheel scrolling out. This is the mouse wheel scrolling in. Um, and then I've got the A and D keys to move from side to side. But um, I don't think it's particularly clear what is going on. Um, now, after a little bit of um, playing around with this, we've got the C key down here, which is the same as in Blood Bowl 2. We've got the um, camera behavior. So you can have this view. You can have a side-on view, uh, which I can't move around. I can move side to side. Um, or we can have the, yeah, back to this view again. Now, thankfully, what I discovered was you can press uh, one of the keys and you can flip it round a sort of a, a quarter turn at a time and effectively get behind your team, uh, which which makes controlling the, play, the whole thing quite a lot easier uh, than it was before. Um, apply the pro skill to one of your players. Well, um, what we got here... Uh, we'll give it to a Noble Blitzer. It looks like they might decide to use the ball for a change. I was thinking to myself... Um, now this is a bug. Um, it's not supposed to give you all of the pressed and awful uh, rolls. Um, but it does a... Some good old -fashioned cheating. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, the pressed and awful table seems to have gone a little bit crazy. Um, there we go. We've got all of the Preston Offal, 
Um, I've not seen that one before. We'll toss it, toss it on the pile of things that don't quite work right. Um, okay, so um, what we'll do now is we'll put, that, we'll put our players um, and we'll put them on the line of scrimmage. I'm just going to move them out of the way. There we go. So I'm just selecting these and clicking left and clicking clicking back. Um, this is the beast that is Morgan Thorg. Uh, and we'll go and fletch another player there. Uh, other things to sort of, I guess, go through. We've got the player skills. If you look in the bottom right corner there, you'll see a pop-up that's just appeared. There are four different options. I can turn them all off, which is what they're currently set at. We can have opponent players, which is not that one. That appears to be all that appears to be my players. Um, we can have opponent players. Um, or we can have all. Um, they haven't unfortunately included this uh, a version for earned skills only, um, which is a shame and I suspect it'll just be put in. It's, it's certainly something that needs to come in. And while we're on the topic of skills, um, if you have played the previous version uh, with the skill icons, you'll notice immediately that these don't look anything like uh, they did before. So you've got to relearn all the skill icons. Um, some of them look similar. So if we take this player here, it's got four above his head. That first one there is block. Uh, the next one is big brain, um, which is now translated to nerves of steel. Um, we've got catch, uh, which I think, to be fair, does look like catch. Uh, and then we've got runaway, uh, which is dodge, um, which I quite like. I, I think that sort of suits him. Um, we've got uh, a wreath skill. I don't know what that is. Let's have a quick look at that. That's oh, leader. Yeah. Um, uh, we've got target practice. Well, I'm guessing that's accurate. Uh, and that looks like a pass skill. So I think those two actually make sense, right? Target, accurate, and pass. Yeah, they, they, they make sense. And I think if you played this for long enough, it was a common gripe at Star Blood Bowl 2. What the hell are all these skills? Replaced it with uh, some skill icons that make sense. Uh, I'm not quite sure why Big Brain makes sense, but um, if you can think about it, leave a comment in the, in the, in the thing below. Um, so, friends with a ref. I thought that said something else then. Um, so, it's friends with a ref. Until the next uh, uh, drive, attempt to argue the call, succeed on a D6 roll of six, 5 plus, not 6 plus. Uh, select whom to give the ball to. Well, let's give what it to Morg. Take away. They often now, <clears throat> um, I think we're always going to just turn off um, tackle zones, which is those red and yellow um, things on the screen. So we've got that. Um, and then the last thing to go look at down here is the log. So we've got teeny tiny log. Mahusive log, no log. There is no click the log, drag it to the size you want um, kind of action, uh, which I think is, again, it's something they could easily change. Um, so we'll run with Mahusive log. I hope you don't mind. Um, just lets you see what's actually going on, and it means you can pause the video and have a look at stuff. Um, let's look at things that we, have, we do like. We've got the turn timer up here, and we've got a whole heap of bonus time or chess clock time uh, there. So... On the other occasions, someone will go FK. You're playing them a bit annoying because you'll have to wait 7 minutes 30 on top of the 2 minutes. That's fine. Because most of the time, you'll sometimes dive into that bonus time when you get presented with a really complicated problem or challenge. So, uh, congratulations to them on that. Um, yeah, There's a lot of other stuff that I think we need to tidy up. But, yeah. Now, down here we've got a load of actions. So, we've got uh, standard activation, blitz activation, uh, foul activation, and pass activation. Um, in Blood Bowl 3 slash Blood Bowl 2020, you have to declare the action before you move the player. So, um, what that means is, if I want to take Morgan Thorg, and I want to pass, and I want to pass to this guy, right? See how it's just changed, it's given me a pass action, right? If I try and move Morg to here first, or there, and then try and pass, the game will say, no, you didn't say that before you did anything. So, what we're actually looking at doing um, is we have to declare the action. So I'm going to declare a blitz. Um, we'll go here. Uh, we'll press go because it's a commit. And it's not letting me do it. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit weird. Now we're into bonus time. There we go. We've finally got the blitz to work. That's quite a mismatch, um, Bob. You've got the two blocks there. And, it, and it's weird because it shows you the dice over the, over the guy's head. Um, these are standard NAF dice. Anyone who's uh, played the tabletop version will absolutely recognise those symbols. Uh, we've got a push and a push, so we'll, we'll take the push. And we'll go there. And then I get a choice of follow-up or stay put. I think that could be a lot closer and cleaner. Um, but we'll, we'll stay put for the time being. And then we are just going to go and click the player again so it doesn't retain 
that that's what you were doing. So now you've got to do that. Um, you can, instead of clicking go, you can press space bar, which is, is fun. Um, and then you can do that. So I'm just going to move some players in just to support Morg so he doesn't lose the ball immediately. Uh, last thing for us to do, whoop, whoa, 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 see? Um, and I've played this a bit. I've played this, deliberately played this before coming and talking to you guys. Um, so it's why the, the video content is a little bit slow. Um, I wanted to play this before um, getting a little, um, what's the word, upset about it. Uh, so follow up. And uh, you see the armor roll there. It's a seven. Um, it's not actually the armor roll. Um, it doesn't really tell you what's going on in the log here. It's very difficult to follow this. It, it doesn't include everything that's going on. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round us. Follow up. And we rolled. I can't see because of the scale icons. That's something else they need to just sort of have a think about. Uh, and that's us. So I'll end turn. And to be fair, that is actually out of the way. So well done, some that. Blah blah. One, it was down here and it was in the way. Um, um, and I like I like the fact that it's up here. Um, you're not likely to catch it. It could do with a confirm, is right? Is this going to be enough to come out on top? <laughs> okay. Um, well, he's not Morgo with two dice uphill. I wasn't expecting that. And by the looks of things, neither would they. And it's not it's not possible to tell you whether he broke armor or not. That that would be no. Um, I'm also not entirely clear where the uh, what's this? I don't I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, we'll stay put. Sounds like a good idea. So it's my go again. Ah, the ball is there. Look, so we can see that uh, the ball is there. Let's turn the skills off and see if we can uh, make this a little cleaner. Um, well, we know that Morg, Morg has got three dice. I know this because I know he's strength six. Um, oh, this guy's strength, f what? That's weird. What's going on here? Let me just get rid of the log. So that guy's strength three. Oh, that, what, what? Where's Morg? Oh. Okay, and I and I promise you I have played this before. Um so it's bench morgue. Um that's the ogre, not morgue. So I think I think really, I mean I've, I've, we've, been, we've been recording this is like a 10 minute video. Um I think hopefully you can already see a little bit of um where we're actually at with this game. Um I don't think the player models are as clean as they need to be. Um I think the pitch is too bright versus uh, the, the player models. Um, and, he's still standing. and there's an awful oh my word and there's that's got dodge isn't it oh yeah it's got dodge right um, yeah there's, there's an awful lot that's going on here that's not as clean as Bubble Ball 2 I think um, some of the things that they could do now um, would be I'll let the AI have another go they could tidy this up pretty simply um, you just need to be able to have a toggle switch that's a lot easier to use that puts certain skills on um, you need the player models to be a bit bigger. The pitch needs to shrink a little bit and needs to be a bit duller. Um, I think it needs to be a little cleaner to see what's going on. Um, and we haven't come across yet my favourite bug in all of this, um, the stand-up to blitz action. So when your player is stand, uh, lying down, if you want to stand up, um, you can double-click it. But double-clicking is always the blitz, no matter what. Um, and trying to work out how the hell you stand a player up when you don't want to blitz, um, that's um, that's been a problem. And it doesn't tell you who the hell's going on and what. Like, oh, if that was the ogre, if I'd have realised that was the ogre, we wouldn't have taken both down. Um, use the skill. Oh, use fend. Uh, use the skill or not. But where is the action going on? Right? It doesn't tell us what's going on. So there's a there's, there's a lot that they need to get right here. And he's been KO'd. Uh, sure. So overall. I think when they've had another nine months at trying to fix this, it'll be a lot tidier and it'll be great. Um, until then, um, we need to keep giving them the feedback. We need to keep telling them what's going wrong. We need to tell them how they can improve things. And once we've worked all those things through, this will be fine. Um, but until then, this is not fine. Um, 
Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Please leave a load of comments in the, in the section below. Um, I've taken all the Discord comments. We've put them in a spreadsheet. We've got this massive Google sheet of stuff that's going back to them. Um, I'm delighted they're making Blood Bowl 3. That's brilliant. Um, it's just not ready yet. That's where I'm at with this. And they will fix it. Blood Bowl 2 was worse than this when they um, were talking about releasing it last time. And they fixed that. So stay positive, chaps. Um, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.